Hey everybody, Louie is with me here. Lou. Louie. Man, he's just antisocial. Um, it's Poochie, and if you notice, this is the little doggy from my picture on YouTube. We are rocking the Elvis Presley TCB Graceland collection today from our trip to uh, Graceland in Memphis this summer. Oh, okay. Um, that's one thing that's great about being an e-commerce entrepreneur is you can travel. Every year I take a month-long trip with my family that is awesome. Usually at least a month. And the businesses keep right on going and keep making money because we uh, run them from the road. And also... Um, uh, VAs. We have virtual assistants that run them from abroad, so that's awesome. Anyway, let's check out this on web change thing. Okay, this is a website that you can use uh, for drop shipping, um, or also if you want to check on your competitors' prices. Okay, but let's talk about drop shipping now to, to keep track of your supplier's stock and also. Um, their price okay so what you can do is sign up for the premium plan which is uh, 350 euros is like four dollars and one cent right now okay a month and what you get for this is 30,000 checks per month now what that is is since a month you figure 30 days average in a month it's a thousand items one check a day okay if you have 500 items it's two checks a day okay um, I'm sure I, I assume that you can upgrade that and get more checks you just have to contact them to do it but um, the thing that's cool about this is it will notify you via uh, email and it also do pushover notifications and pushovers um, uh, well, it's push. It's push notifications. So you know, enable push notifications when you're on a website, and it says enable push notifications, or an app or whatever. It'll notify you via Android, iPhone, iPad, desktop, laptop, etc. Via push notification if you set it up right. So I signed up for an account that's just a little piddly freebie account, um, and I get. 30 checks per month that is one item one check per day so we better make it a good item right um so <laughs> i'm gonna upgrade i'm gonna upgrade to test it more it's just i, I want to i wanted to start slow and do this anyway so create a new tracker this is how you do it um there is a site called entertainment earth and a lot of people uh sell from like Walmart or Amazon the only problem with that is they ship from a lot of different locations and on eBay now eBay says the item location your item location and your listing has to be the same location that you're shipping from otherwise you're going to get um, you're in violation of eBay policy a lot of people are debating this you know I don't want to debate it anymore they can think what they want to think, I'll think what I want to think, and we can just, you know, all chill out and stop with the, you know, attacks on each other in videos and stuff. It's just juvenile and silly, and some of the posts, it's just silly. Um, very childish. So, let's go in here and um, look for stuff on Entertainment Earth. Now, I have a wholesale account with them, and one good thing about them is, as far as I know, they only ship from one location. Okay, so this is an example. I'm not telling you all to go to Entertainment Earth and do this. There's a lot of companies um, that do this and ship from one location. Okay, this company does a lot of toys and collectibles. So what you're going to have is you're going to have like, right, pre pre order. Okay, there's going to be a lot of pre order stuff or this is these are expected in on January 19th and then they don't come in until February. You don't want to deal with that. Go to Hot Off the Truck because these are the items that they have in stock. Okay, so Hot Off the Truck. Then you can go in here and say Hot Off the Truck last seven days, eight to 15 days. You can search by theme, search by product type. And the thing that's cool, if you go down here, uh, search by price. 
right? So if you only want to do stuff that's $26 to $75, then you're going to click here. You got 311 items to choose from, okay? So I went in earlier and found this. Harry Potter Village, um, Hagrid's Hut Statue, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to copy the URL, okay? And then we go over to on web change and this is how we do this okay yeah, I'm working on the URL okay so you have the URL right here let's load the content load the content come on load the content loading complete okay here it is alright now you can use the mouse to select parts of the page you wish to track here we go Okay, we want to track two things. We want to track definitely stock, right? So you click stock and you go down here and it will say, blah, blah, you have selected this line. Okay, good. So we also want to select price. So it lets you select price and there's the price, okay? And on this website, it gives you, you know, some line in, you know, HTML form or whatever. Um, and then you uh, can highlight it, okay? Um, if you highlight it, it'll show you exactly what it's going to notify you when it changes, okay? And then you can test it. So let's test it and make sure it's right. Okay, two content items were found, but uh, it comes to you on a single line of text with um, a line symbol through it, okay? so. In stock, price $109.99. Let's look. In stock, price $109.99. Yep, that's where we want it tracking. You can click down here to enable notification conditions, and that means, I think, only notify me when the text contains whatever. Notify me when this condition gets broken. Great for knowing when content contains unexpected values or falls outside of a combined defined range. I think you have to set that up probably in your settings, I'm guessing. So you can say email, you can put up additional email addresses, you can set up the push notifications, okay? You can, if you're on that one plan, the big plan, um, set up a tracker group. So say you want it to be all, let's say, Entertainment Earth items, okay? Then you would say Entertainment Earth group. Okay, this is the group that's all items from Entertainment Earth that you're tracking. Okay, now here's the cool thing. The additional configuration that you can set up is uh, you get to do a tracker label. Now, what you can do on this is you can put in eBay and then the eBay uh, item number. So it kind of ties them together. So whenever you get a notification, um, for this item that it changed, it's going to send the label as the eBay auction or the eBay item number so you can easily go on eBay even from your, your uh, smartphone. Hold on a second. Hold on. My dogs love the UPS man. Okay, so you can, where was I? You can set it up so the tracker label is eBay and then the eBay number. So when you get the notification, it's really easy for you to see, um, you'll see where the item is, but you'll also see uh, if the price changed or it's out of stock, and then you can easily go to your eBay uh, number and change the item, uh, change it to out of stock or raise the price or whatever you want to do. Down here you can set this to six hours, two hours, one hour. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I would recommend probably six hours at the most. It's not really, you know, I, from a site like that, I don't think six, every six hours, if you go over every six hours, you're really going to, you know, run into any trouble by not going, you know, every two hours or every hour. You can if you want. I mean, it's cheap enough. You probably could. So then you save and you're done. And what is supposed to happen is every time stock changes or 
the price changes, you're going to be able to get a notification via either email or via push notification on your phone, your tablet, your iPad, your computer, whatever, if you set it up right. And I, I can't help you with that because I'm not that geeky. Um, I, would hire, I would hire out a geek to probably do that. But um, that's where you're kind of like getting these notifications. It's, it's even better than... Um, uh, just getting emails because if you're, like I said, at dinner, I mean, or you're, you know, even at a concert or something, I don't know if you're going to do it at a concert, but, you know, you can, like, at least set the item to be out of stock so you don't start selling, you don't suddenly sell, you know, 20 and then they're out of stock. So I hope that helped. Um, if you have any further questions, go ahead and just contact, I would just contact on web change. Um, yeah, and it's it seems like it's a really good service. It seems like the thing I like is you can uh, track things from websites that maybe are really small companies, maybe are really obscure companies. So you would be able to track listings on eBay or on Amazon and track the supply, the stock, the prices, um, and not have a lot of competition on those items, you know, especially if it's a real uh, niche kind of thing. So I hope this helped you. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Click like if you liked it. Click dislike if you're a hater. I know I have some of those. Um, and uh, make sure you click the bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. Make sure you join the Poochie's Pack uh, Facebook group as we have a lot of information in there. And I'm going to start teaching people specifically, um, hopefully, how to do more Amazon and more uh, Shopify, Poshmark, things like that, and kind of get away from the whole, you know, eBay thing that we've been so focused on lately. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one.